head to body. It's time to do a beer video. I had some uh, some Miller um, a while back because that's what the store had I went to. Let's open it up. And uh, it was a really hot day, and I started to think, you know, throwing back the Millers. And uh, afterwards, uh, I felt like, you know, I, I felt uh, satiated, had some delicious beer, and uh, I, I felt fine. Like, you know, I didn't feel like, uh, you know, if I had that much Mickey's, I would have been laying on the ground, rolling uh, and clutching my stomach, thinking, oh, that's so awesome, I'm so full of delicious Mickey's. But uh, with Miller, you're just like, all right, well, that's cool. I had some Miller. Yeah, it's just good tasting and uh, doesn't get on top of you. But I didn't really, uh, I'm not contacting right now to have a beer video and talk about Miller. I want to talk uh, about a couple characters. Let's, uh, let's get... Uh, Let's get some of the simple stuff out of the way. First of all, the rules. I have the rules. Cheers to you. I always kind of wondered in the back of my mind if the rules was uh, uh, doing a, uh, a shtick, like he had a routine, uh, or like, uh, you know, he's a character. But I'm like, what if he's actually, you know, really emphasizing his character? Um, you know, just really going to town with it. And I think... He is, but I also think he's genuine. I think the rules is the rules. <laughs> I think I, I saw that when he was hanging out with Todd. I'm like, uh, like, oh, that's that's kind of who he is as a guy. That's, I mean, it's a whole thing. Like, if like you're watching a bunch of Borat movies or something, and then you're like, uh, um, or Steve Martin movies, and then you realize actually that's how Steve Martin is. Doesn't make it you know any less interesting or funny, but. Uh, it's just remarkable nonetheless. Jack, I like your uh, comment about calling it I, something like uh, wonderfully awkward, uh, the rules and Todd hanging out together. And cheers to you guys. And cheers to you, Todd. Uh, who else? Uh, oh, I wanted to uh, congratulate uh, Rouse Shader. Congratulations. An epic, an epic number of people hitting the sub button. Uh, as well as OD'd. Uh, I can't imagine what your guys' powers are at this point in time. Probably affecting things on such a scale that uh, most of us can't even notice, can't even tell. Uh, and Bitter Poet, <laughs> YouTube, a wrestling community thing. Man, I just kept thinking, like, what are the odds of someone coming up with that? That was awesome. What a, uh, what a galvanizing thing that was. Beer. Ah. And, uh, oh, I saw um, B2M playing video games. Hey, B2M and family. I gotta get an Xbox. It's been so long, I miss Halo. Um, but here's, here's where... I want to finish this beer, and here's who I really want to talk about. Uh, H. Strung. Um, H. Strung's a believer. He goes to haunted houses and whatnot. And here's the thing, because I follow H. Strung. I, I watch his videos. I uh, download them. I have the uh, Christmas box set. Um, I got all his stuff, uh, original and bootleg. And uh, so I know what I'm talking about here when I say that uh, H. Strung went to a... Uh, an abandoned building. You know, he tells us what that building is. You know, it may be, maybe not. And then something happened to his flip. Some, uh, some things got recorded. But he was unable to play them back. And then he kind of explains it. Hey, Keila! Keila! Back this way, bud. Oh, it's so good to have a dog that comes when you call him. All right, so four minutes maybe, or uh, or is it four minutes? 
So, uh, you know, then uh, he goes back to normal. He's doing his corn vids. And uh, then he's playing some, uh, some Beatles one day. And if you listen why he's playing, it sounds like the Beatles are playing in the background. Oh, maybe, maybe he's just playing a recording. That's, that seems pretty easy enough. Pretty easy uh, uh, solution, explanation. He's playing a recording of the Beatles. Hold on a second. Losing my beer. Ugh. Oh. Man. Work torques out my arms sometimes. I get, like, cramps. Uh, all right. Probably playing a recording of the Beatles. Next thing you know, uh, he's got a, uh, a camera tree. He, uh, he's explaining the fact that his camera sometimes does this. He says he has it in a tree. That's where it all comes falling down. That's just too much, too much inconsistency. Too much things that lead me to believe, actually, uh, that... Uh, not only does he believe in ghosts, not only is he contacting ghosts, uh, but at least one of the ghosts that are in his flip cam right now um, is a dead beetle. I'm thinking John Lennon. And uh, I say, I'm calling you out right now, H. Strong. Um, there's a lot of believers out there that uh, don't have proof. And if you have John Lennon holding your camera right now, and you're rocking out, um, um, you know, experiencing this paranormal awesomeness. Um, I think you kind of owe it to all of us just to, uh, to admit it, to own up. So, you know, be honest about it. Notice uh, also after uh, the uh, the four minute missing thing out of the uh, the flip cam, his sub started to skyrocket. It's like you could only you could only pull the wool so far, H. Strong. Can only pull it so far because we're intelligent people. Beer. <sighs> Not much of a burper, but shout out to rugby. See you in the tubes, believers.